All right, so Oxygen OS for the Redmi K20 Pro from the initial days of owning this device, I know that this particular port or this particular ROM has had a lot of excitement and the reason is there. It has been performing great. Initially, there were, you know, things which made this ROM perform really, really smooth, brilliant gaming stuff. I also, you know, in one of the videos overclocked the display of this particular device with oxygen os and it gave me constant more than 65 fps so oxygen os has been great and this change log by far is the biggest that i've seen and most significant so so late in the night we are releasing this video so that you guys can come to know how to install it and you can flash it because tomorrow we will have the initial impressions and we will also have probably a gaming review out so in today's video we are going to install the latest port of oxygen os based on the oneplus 70 pro for the redmi k20 pro but before we get into that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content if you like chatting with like-minded people well join us on telegram we have more than a thousand people over there with similar devices you can join us on instagram twitter facebook as well and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops let's install oxygen os All right, now to begin with, we're going to talk about the change log first, then we will see the how to install flashing steps recommended by team Evelyn. And then we will see the files that we need. And finally, we will do the flashing process. So let's see here, Oxygen OS 11 Luna based on OnePlus 70 Pro built by team Evelyn. Brilliant job guys. Change log based on Android 11 firmware, ported vendor from OnePlus 70 Pro, fixed graphics optimization in game mode, fixed L1 certification, improved FOD implementation, eliminated wake up issues, native pop up implementation with fault detection, added native, native OnePlus ringer modes, added hot word enrollment blobs. So OK, Google should be working fine. Fixed auxiliary cameras, fixed unknown baseband in device info, fixed the ringtone selection in sound settings, better Dolby support, fixed Google recorder. NFC will work on the Mi 90 Pro, not the Indian version, but the international version added thermals debloated some useless stuff from vendor disable adaptive display no more messed up contrast in sunlight adjusted status bar padding better double tap to wake implementation retains across reboots mclaren theming and cyber cyberpunk boot animation assistive lightning should work in face unlock that is brilliant added f2fs and encryption support so we are going to be flashing this with f2fs i'll tell you what precautions need to be taken added features from oneplus kernel houston and stuff safety net passes without magisk new oneplus game monitor and well these are the things that you need to take care of flash vv meta if coming from mi ui flash latest firmware for your region encryption is enabled by default f2fs is recommended custom kernels are not supported right now if you can please go ahead and buy them a coffee donate to them they are doing a brilliant job for this wonderful device now let's talk about the important stuff First things first, the files that we will need. Now I have connected a OTG pen drive. You can choose to flash it from internal storage, but I would recommend you, you know, use a OTG cable and a pen drive because we are going to format the data partition to F2FS. Or what you can choose to do is, you know, format the data partition to F2FS and then connect the phone to your computer or laptop and copy the files over. In any case, you will need an unlocked bootloader. You will of course need Orange Fox Recovery, the latest one installed. Your phone should have more than 50% battery. Make sure you have backed up all the information on your device because everything will be wiped, including your internal storage. At the same time, make sure that you've removed your Google account. If you're on MIUI, remove your MI account out, remove the lock screen security like fingerprint unlock face unlock any pattern or pin code and reboot the device once now once you've taken care of all of these checklists your device is ready to be flashed let me show you the files that we have here so i have them on my external pen drive here so i have this folder called os 11 this is the firmware latest android 11 firmware for the redmi k20 pro this is the rom and this is vb meta right now if you want to stay decrypted after flashing everything you can choose to flash dfe we're not going to cover that because i prefer encryption and that is more safe as well it's, it's completely a personal choice right now these are the three files that you will need and we are assuming that you have orange fox recovery installed if you want to know how to install orange fox or any twrp there is a dedicated video you can go ahead and watch that 
right now all of this is taken care of so we're going to boot into orange fox recovery so let's go to restart and let's select recovery here now remember there are a lot of things that you need to do in a sequence so please follow this video step by step and do not skip anything all right now as you can see we are in orange fox recovery so the first thing that you need to do is go to wipe dalvik cache system vendor metadata and data you can wipe internal storage it's completely up to you i have my files on the otg pen drive so i'm going to wipe it so wipe everything okay now once everything is wiped we will select the otg pen drive the os11 folder is where i've stored my files so the first thing to flash is the firmware add to queue and the rom itself swipe to confirm flash now the vb meta file that we were speaking about well if you if you are coming from miui you need to go ahead and flash that after these two files have been flashed so let's wait for the rom to flash it'll take about a couple of minutes two to two minutes to you know two minutes 10 seconds or two minutes 15 seconds that's about the time it takes to flash this particular rom so please be patient while that happens all right now as you can see the flashing is complete we don't have any error and this is the time it took very good installer that they have made there rather a very good script so everything flashed fine now if you're coming from miui or a miui based custom rom select this vbmeta.image select this particular partition vbmeta and swipe to confirm flash we are not going to do that because we are coming from a asp based rom okay now we need to convert the data partition to f2fs and then we'll do a format data okay so go to the menu over here go to manage partitions select the data partition and select the tick mark click on change file system and select f2fs swipe to change okay now go to wipe go to format data type in yes select the tick mark okay now reboot system so we have successfully installed everything remember we are not doing dfe or majisk those are additional things you can go ahead and check in the group how to flash dfe and other things but we've just flashed the way it is recommended and it should definitely boot the first boot takes about two minutes to you know boot and we have the beautiful cyberpunk boot animation so let's wait for the boot to complete and then we'll have a first look at how the rom looks and tomorrow you will have the initial impressions video coming up okay as you can see using the flashing method that we followed and as suggested by the team evelyn we have successfully booted into oxygen os i'm quickly going to skip the setup part over here so that i can show you that we have indeed booted into the latest oxygen os at the same time i'm going to quickly install the app called disk info which will help us to confirm that our data partition indeed is f2fs all right so first things first we have f2fs partition available so that's good so the flashing method definitely worked now let's go to settings over here let's go to about as you can see snapdragon 855 plus it says one plus 70 pro and the android version is 11 genos kernel it still says baseband unknown i don't know why that is but this is the latest evelyn teams luna update that you have installed successfully on your redmi k20 pro or mi 90 pro let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video the files are linked in the description and do donate to team evelyn if you can Good night until the next one. This is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.